Hey guys, welcome back uh, to our YouTube channel. Uh, Steve from ABC Sewing Machine. Uh, today, last promise, you know, we're going to go over the installation and assembly of one of our thread stands. Uh, before we get started, you're going to need uh, probably like three or four tools just to make sure you have everything that you need um, to get this uh, thread stand assembled and ready to go. For starters, if you don't already have a pre drilled hole onto your table, uh, in some cases, some of the older style thread stands were uh, circular bases like this, and then you just put like two or three screws into it to hold it down. You're going to actually need to drill a hole through your table uh, in order for, for you to get the thread stand on. But I mean, for the most part, about like 90% of the units have these holes pre-drilled in. But if you don't, you need a drill bit. We're using an 11 16th perfect size to hold your thread stand and make a hole through your table. Okay, now jumping right on into it. When you open a box of, um, or when you receive the bag of, of thread stand parts from us, you'll get a number of these parts. You know, thread stand posts, thread guides, top thread guides, bottom thread guides, you know, the center mount to hold them in, and then thread, thread trays and stands. Um, so we'll go one by one. Um, I'm sure everyone has their own way of assembling these. Uh, I've been doing it for some time now. So I just, you know, I'll just go over the details of how I actually do it. So what we'll do first is we'll grab the thread stand post itself. You know, you'll see two washers, a rubber ring. What you want to do is you want to unscrew the nut on the bottom. Okay. After this point, you want to remove one of the washers. So right now all you have left is a washer and a rubber ring. This part will actually put onto your table as so. And you don't need to tighten it in now, but I mean, once you get to this point, it just makes it easier to install. So we're just going to kind of tighten it by hand. We'll go over again later on with like a crescent wrench or an open-ended wrench to make sure it's on there tight. Okay. Now from this point, we're actually going to start assembling the thread stand itself. You can see the difference between the top and bottom ones. The top ones actually have um, rubber bushings and thread guides that are sticking out as well as these thread guide springs. But when you look at the bottom one over here, it's just plain. Plain and it just has holes on the top. So these, this determines which is top and bottom. So we're going to put these on the bottom first. So you just slide them right on in. Okay. You want to make sure it's a little loose so you can actually move the thread set up and down to get the height right. For like an overlock machine, we usually do about four and a half, four fingers and a half. So once you wrap it around, and at this point, we're just going to lock it down. Just hand tighten them right now, just to get the positioning. Take your Phillips screwdriver. And then what you do is you can just actually tighten down the thread stand on both ends. Okay. You're going to grab the center mount now. I'll we'll actually put that in there like that. Now this is designed where it's basically going to be half is going to be the bottom post and the other half on top is going to be for the for the top post. Once you get it in and you match it to about halfway, you're going to tighten the bottom one just loosely. We just don't want it to move around or fall off while we're assembling it all. Okay. Now this portion right here is going to be the little bit more complicated part of it. So once again, we're going to grab the top thread mount, uh, the thread guides, and actually slip it right on through. Do that for the second one as well. Now, in the case of a uh, four or five or six thread thread stand, there's going to be an additional piece which holds another thread guide in the center. Uh, when it comes to like your single needles, uh, Juki Brothers Singers, you're not going to actually need that because you're only going to have two trays, you wouldn't have this portion of it on your thread stand. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do is, just to get things started, this middle bracket, it actually fits right on into your thread stand as so. So once you get this portion done, what we wanna do is put it down onto the, onto the main thread stand post. And right here is, make sure it's all the way down covering the other second half. Tighten it down, like so. Turn this around just to make it easy so everyone at home can see. From here, you're thinking about maybe half an inch from the top. And however way your bottom one is positioned, so if this one is positioned on top, it'll be the same on the on the on the top end as well. So right here we have the height set up. We're gonna tighten this down just to keep it in place. And right here we'll do the same, like so. Okay. Now we're gonna build the center assembly. So right here, you probably want to get about three finger space. Tighten it down, just so it stays on the main post without moving around. Then you're going to see this piece right here. 
Let's take an L bracket. The straight end of it would be the one that's actually going in and through the thread stand to the back. Like so. What you're going to do is lock it down, screw it in again using your Phillips screwdriver, hold it in place. Now I'll bring it back to the front so everyone can see what we just did. Now the finishing touches, you actually need these two pieces right here. One hole is larger than the other, so obviously you know that the larger hole is going to fit through the L bracket we just sent through, like so. Okay, and just to make sure it stays in, you want to make sure it's all the way up. We're going to tighten it down to a point just tight enough where you can still move it and adjust it around. I'm going to take this bent portion over here. Straight end would be actually going towards your left hand. All right, so just to make sure again, like I said, when you install this other thread, thread guide onto your thread stand right here, the longer straight portion of it will be going towards your left hand side from the front, okay? Now once you actually get that down, you just take your Phillips screwdriver again and tighten that down. You know, again, I mean, you wanna be able to have some, some a little bit of free motion on this because as you use different kinds of threads, you might wanna adjust you know, the tension or the position, how the thread comes off into your machine. We're almost done now. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab these four posts in the case of a four thread thread stand is what we're assembling. There's a washer, a, ring, a spring washer, and these thread cone caps right here. You just pull those off. They're easier to work with for the time being. Put them right into the pre-drilled hose already on top. Tighten it up. We're just gonna do that for all four. But you're gonna do the furthest out and the fur and the closest one in the post, just like so. Okay. Now at this point, you're gonna take a wrench, um, either a five sixteenths or an eight millimeter, and you're gonna to want to tighten this down. All right. Okay. Now you're gonna take the thread trays. So. Now, if you look closely at the design of the tray, there's these little notches cut out on two portions or two sections of the circle inside. And if you look at the, the post that hold it in place, they also have those two notches um, coming out on the bottom. So that's where you know where you're going to be able to align the trays to. this point, I want to put these pieces on here and the finishing touches, which would be this right here. Okay. Now we're almost done, but we just want to make sure you go through everything and make sure it's all tightened up and everything. Again, you're going to probably take a Chrysler wrench or in our case, a wrench like this, and you're going to tighten it down. And there you have it, everyone. Thank you again for watching. Click the link below, subscribe. We're going to have more of these install and how-to videos keep, um, coming up, you know, and uh, keep on watching. Thanks again.